Yeah. What's up? We got his ass now. We got him. We got his ass. Talking about none other than Tariq Nashi. Now it's confirmed that the man is indeed named Marcus Sanders. <clears throat> and the funny part is that picture that um, the keyboard musician put up when he tilts the camera in a certain angle, those eyes do look like the eyes of that Marcus Sanders, that killer. You know? Everything adds up, but now it's confirmed. The guy already lied to somebody when somebody asked, was his name Marcus Sanders? He said, no, I don't know no Marcus Sanders. My name is Tariq Nashi. But see... In this video he had with a uh, white guy who called us niggers, by the way, and he didn't say a word about it. I told you all these people that come up there, that, you know, most of them are fake. The ones he cuts off quick are fake. The ones he seeks out, those are the stage ones. And the ones he lets talk for uh, so long, those are the stage people. Like white people are concerned with Tariq Nashi, but they are concerned with agent Tariq Nashi. But Marcus Sanders, his sister came on and he said here's my sister Tia put that link for the GoFundMe see he even got his sister in on the act put that link for the GoFundMe on the uh, I think it was the Instagram live <laughs> and then her name was Tia Marie Sanders I don't know how many people caught that shit, but I was looking. I was like, well, God damn, I'll be damned. Now, people kept sending me information behind the scenes about Marcus Sanders. But I didn't want to put the shit on because I'm like, man, this shit ain't confirmed to my satisfaction. Even though it looked compelling, but it just wasn't confirmed to my satisfaction. So I didn't want to put it out there. But now. Tariq Nasheed himself inadvertently confirmed it. And you can see in his voice, he was in, in, in the way he was looking and acting, he was like, oh shit, I done fucked up. I didn't know she had that. He should have known. I didn't know she had that name. <laughs> or he could be just trying to play us, but the way his face looked and all that kind of stuff, it looked like he was like, oh, shit. But then he was like uh, trying to play it off. Like, damn, I fucked up, but I can't tell her to get lost. The people already saw it. Sanders. I don't know if that's the one that married the Hispanic or not, but whatever the case is. His sister has the last name Sanders. Why would she have that name? So now we got this Negro, this coon agent. And I give credit to the keyboard musician because he was on his ass. Then something happened, then I guess he, you know, had to fall back, but he put the information out there. Now, Tariq Nasheed, I'm looking at him like they did with Alex Jones, and I don't give a damn if you call somebody a conspiracy theorist and that. But, you know, they kept saying Alex Jones was that uh, comedian. I keep forgetting the guy's name. I didn't even know who the hell the guy was in his prior life to begin with. But age, phenotype, everything adds up. These are the things that they do, the tricks that they play. And you notice when they switch identity, so to speak, two things always come with it. Credibility, well, no, three things. Credibility, money, and politics. Because that's the whole purpose of making these coon agents to begin with is to brainwash people with politics. And their politics are not always real. It's always something that they're trying to get you to think about. I was looking at some app, and they even mentioned... That Dixon uh, thing they were calling us FBA, Foundational Black Americans, like that was an actual title. 
it, it was a news app. I said, man, I'll be damned. But see, this is what they do. And a whole lot of black people, agents and coons alike, or naive black people, you know, they start calling themselves foundational black Americans. I'm a proud foundational black American. Then you got that knock me easy, another fraud and a phony. I'm a king of the FBA. Well, motherfucker, before Tariq called it FBA, what the fuck were you the king of? All these phonies, all designed to manipulate black Americans and only black Americans. And you people still think that we came from Africa. If that's the case. What is all the trickery all about? Huh? But we got this guy. This guy did it to himself. He slipped up his blood relative sister named Sanders. You can't escape that. At best, he'll he'll probably try to say, I got to get on her uh, Instagram and see what she's all about. At first, at best, he'll probably try to say, oh, we, we were uh, putting that together to, to trick the people out there. Some shit like that. <laughs> we're pranking the people. No, no, no. The cat is out of the bag. We knew you weren't born no motherfucking Tariq Nashi. You're not a Muslim. Nobody else in your family got a, a Muslim name. Your sister's names are not uh, Islamic. So we know you weren't born Tariq Nashi. Now, the more interesting thing is, now that we know his name is Marcus Sanders, we know the man is not afraid to get plastic surgery. We see that with the teeth. Fake porcelain teeth. We see that with his hair. Hair transplants, extensions, and even going as far as to get a, uh, a fucking painted on hairline that he grew before, not grew, <laughs> that he uh, drew before the public trying to make us forget that we actually saw you develop this fake hairline before our eyes and before that you had bald spots in the front getting the Ray Allen situation going so we know that he will get plastic surgery the original Marcus Sanders, which is looks like it's him with that picture, that guy's the deadly killer. And he was from all the places that Tariq Nashi said he was at. Michigan, Alabama. Now, and he was uh, uh that's I told you that's what they get. Snitches. Coons to turn around and say, hey man, we can change your life. You got to do what we tell you to do. That's why the man has been doing the tranny thing, supporting the LGBTQ, supporting that Marcel Dixon, having trannies call him all the time. Why did I keep asking you? Why did the trannies keep calling him all the time? If you notice, trannies don't come on my channel. I have not spoken to a tranny in my life, even on that old show I was on. At best, it was an intersexed person, which is a hermaphrodite. But I never spoke to a trainee. I don't have any reason to be conversing with the trainee. So why does Tariq Nashi continue to converse with trainees and supports a homosexual in Marcel Dixon? Now you see, it's because he has to. That's why. That's all a part of the agenda. I was in a fucking Sam's Club the other day. They got fucking gay pride balloons in the rainbow configuration. They had one of the employees, I saw she was wearing a uh, rainbow flag mask. I'm like, motherfuckers are still wearing these masks. And she had the rainbow one I'm on. I'm like, man, if I'm an employee at Sam's Club, I'll be goddamn. You know, I said, you ain't putting, I'll be damn. I ain't wearing this shit. You better find me something else. 
I said, God damn it, I'm here to work. I ain't here for no politics. Look all that bullshit. I was about to get up and leave. I said, man, God damn, I can't, can't they don't want you to escape the shit. I only had like two, three items, so. And of course, I forgot one of the items, you know, usually I, I just came from goddamn BJ's, which I'm going to let that shit go because their prices are fucking out of the stratosphere. I mean, the shit I used to buy, the prices are going up four, two, four dollars. I mean, for what was I about to buy the Oscar Mayer uh, turkey bacon? It's normally it used to be nine dollars or ten dollars or something like that. Now the shit is fucking sixteen dollars. I said these people have to be sick. I put that shit right back. I said I'll be damned. I ain't paying for that shit and a lot of times you gotta end up freezing most of them any goddamn way so yeah that gay shit so Tariq Nashi the man is forced to promote this homosexuality but see he can't do it overtly like yeah I, I support the gays he can't do it like that because then it's clear that he's a part of the agenda so he, he asks his masters the small hats can I do it this way, boss? Think about it. Why else was he supporting Marcel Dixon? He says, you know, he says, talks about a gay agenda all the time. And like we, we all noted that he always brought the term bussy into the Negro, I won't say mainstream, but he brought that word into the vocabulary when a lot of people were unaware of that word. Like I said, I first heard the word on World Star, which is another promoter of filth. That's why I haven't been watching World Star steadily. And besides the fact that the videos don't start when you click on the uh, the 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 page that the videos on anymore, so that's annoying. So I like liked it before when you the p comments just pop up and the video plays. The only thing they needed to fix was turn let us fix the goddamn volume to what we want it to be, and let it stay that way all the time. But I stopped fucking with World Stars, nothing but a uh, website of filth. And I'm sure the numbers of it aren't as great as they claim. But I will say this they can manipulate numbers. Just like they can manipulate movie numbers and everything. Just like Disney can manipulate. Movie uh, sales. Record companies to manipulate album sales. I was just looking up album sales on the last couple of Jay-Z albums and Rihanna. Because I was like, because I remember I had downloaded something I was trying to transform to a higher quality format. Which I'm getting there. It's, it's a vast collection, but I'm getting there. So I had downloaded something called Rihanna's Greatest Hits. I thought that was an official album, but I guess somebody must have put that shit together because I couldn't find it. <laughs> so then I found out where her last album was. And I think she only sold 400,000 or un just under 300,000. I mean, just under 400,000. And keep in mind, Jay-Z, Rihanna, those are the biggest artists. And that's all they can muster because the music biz is dead. But the Iron Pyramid, Illuminati, they still need to uh, keep up the act that, hey, man, if you, especially the black people, don't worry about school. Don't worry about becoming a scientist. Just become a goddamn entertainer. That's why they keep lying, saying oh, all these people are billionaires. How the fuck are you going to become a billionaire quicker now as an entertainer than people did in the 2000s when people are actually selling Millions of albums. It's just not possible. It's all BS. How's Rihanna a billionaire? Bullshit. Jay Z a billionaire? Bullshit. Kanye West six billion dollars? Bullshit. I don't give a fuck what they say. Bullshit. But they gotta make you think. Okay, man, these people are getting rich. So Rihanna, Jay Z. I'm sure you already know about the Jay Z. I think it was Samsung. They bought up and gave away, I think it was a million and a half or something like that, 
uh, Jay-Z albums just so they could say that he went uh, multi-platinum or double platinum. Same thing they did with Rihanna. So that's how they cheat the system. That's a drop in a bucket for Samsung because I'm sure Samsung probably paid $3 per disc or per album. And then they, the, the uh, labels try to count that as sales, but the RIAA, they don't count that as sales because they were not sales. They count that as the shit was given away. So you can deceive others, but you can't deceive the, the, the main body. But that's how they cheat because they have to keep up the illusion that these guys are still selling so much. And they're taking more command than what uh, these other people. I mean, if you, it's hard to find sales. I forgot some of those charts. You, I mean, it's like you got to go here, there, and everywhere to find out what somebody's selling these days. But Wikipedia, the the references usually link to a lot of these places. People aren't. I, I, when I say people aren't selling, they're not selling. Nineteen thousand the first week. 30,000 the first week. Man, there was a time, comparatively speaking, not that long ago, when people can drop an album, sell 400,000 in the first day. Million in the first week. Now, the top artists are lucky. It's like, man, 30,000 in a week. And then they drop off from there. So, aside from streaming, where is this music being distributed at? I keep going on Amazon trying to see if I can see CDs. Sometimes I can. A lot of times I can. It's going to be hard to keep this facade going. That's why this C-19 must put a dent, a little bit of a dent in the movie business. You know how I get my movies. But like I said, I still buy when I buy. Um, what did I just watch? Oh, yeah, I downloaded the Jurassic Park, started watching one of them. I was watching something else, too. Oh, yeah, the guess who's coming to dinner. That should look very good for a download HD. Wasn't 4K, but God damn it, it almost looked like it. And that wasn't even the, nowhere close to the full quality of the, of the uh, Blu-ray. But it looked real good. The suits look nice. But all in all, that movie was boring, especially toward the end. And, of course, they try to make black people look just as hateful as the white people and you notice how they had the white people come to terms with the marriage before the black people black people see they what they do is they wanted to make black people look like you know they did that throughout history especially throughout the 70s they try to make black people look just as racist as white people but white pe black people didn't lynch white people. <laughs> we didn't discriminate against white people. They're the ones victimizing us. But, you know, that's how they wanted it. The lady from the Jeffersons called my man a nigger. Uh, I'm like, I was surprised at the language being used. And she, they, they made sure they had her call Portier the nigger. And he's the Caribbean, but, you know, he had to be overly qualified to date the white woman. Assistant Yale professor. You know, they it's like when you watch a Steven Seagal or a Van Damme movie, uh, former Green Beret, Special Forces and all this kind of shit. You know, a heavy resume. Oh, this man is a bad man. <laughs> you know, all that kind of shit. That's how they had to do with Portier. He had to have a whole list of high quality education. Travels around the world, saves the people. He's a saint. So a black man like that 
deserves to be with a white woman. I mean, come on. And then you can see, I think her Hepburn, Catherine Hepburn, horrible skin, by the way. Looked like she was using drugs too, by the way. But uh, Spencer Tracy had horrible skin too. Those kind of white people, they get horrible skin. But you can see the either she was a brilliant actress or that was close to her true feelings, because that's how white people will be looking like, oh shit, I'm, I'm pissed off, but trying not to show it, but I'm showing it. <laughs> so, and, um, like they're going to change their mind two days, you know, they're isolated, rich, away from Negroes. Then her daughter brings up not only an older guy, but a dark skinned dude. Talking about I'm marrying this guy in the 1960s. Then they had the reverend look like he was okay. Hey, what's the problem? Act like he didn't see the guy. That he's a Negro. So this is some bullshit. But it's Sidney Portier. That's basically how they did with all his movies. It's political propaganda. But with the Caribbean. And I guess his smooth voice and his looks. Were supposed to brainwash white people. But see, they don't have to do that with other groups, though. They just throw them in the mix and just make them not stand out, so to speak. And that's kind of what other people want to be. The fake Arabs, the East Indians, the Mongol Asians, they all just get thrown in the mix. And, and the Hispanics now. And they got so many different types, they could just do that. We technically have different types, too. But it doesn't matter what the type is. <laughs> they could look as white as hell and then they just call them have them stand out as black East Indian never so I mean again all these coon agents whatever the bosses are telling you ask yourself how come integration seems to work easier for other groups but we're the ones that we have to work overtime for Events, the more that's why I keep watching old movies and shit, TV shows and documentaries. Because the more I watch, the more I'm learning that the shit that happened 50, 60 years ago is the same shit going on now. And when it was time to take it off, they did for a little while. That was right after 9 11. And as soon as they could, they got right back to it. So-called Arabs, turban, people with turbans on from Asia, East Indians, all of them were perceived as the enemy. Why? By white people, the real enemy, because they were supposed to have attacked the United States. And then white people started putting things in perspective. They said, God damn, black people never did this. They never attacked the country before. But the small hat and the Freemason Brigade, they had to figure out how to put us back at the forefront of hate. See that when shit like that happens, that's when I start saying to myself, why is it us and nobody else? So you got this coon agent Tariq Nasheed. I don't want to divert too much because that's what this is mainly about. Tariq Nasheed, Marcus Sanders confirmed. So now, so that's why if you look on YouTube, a lot of the Marcus Sanders videos, especially the one that accompanied the picture. In the uh, court documents. I think I downloaded all those things. If you notice a lot of those YouTube videos. Kind of disappeared. See when people ask him. Is your real name Marcus Sanders? He's like I don't know no Marcus Sanders. What you talking about? And he didn't provide. What his birth name was. That's what you got to ask him. What, what is your birth name? Because we know it's not Tariq Nashi. He knows it's not that. You're from fucking Alabama. Now he's trying to distance himself from Alabama. Trying to say he's from Detroit now. And had family in Alabama. Before he said he was from Alabama. Then moved to Detroit. Then to LA. 
And people keep giving this Negro money and the man is lying to you. That's why you look at that Pan-Africanism Strikes Back when he uh, does his videos now. Support the channel. I'm broke. I need money. Which one is it, motherfucker? You said when you were talking to me and Tyron, you said, I'm rich. I got an empire in Africa. You wish you could be me. Now you want to beg people for the money. I'm broke. See, these coon agents is always about the money because the white man tells them this is how you get money from these people. And that'll be a part of your pay, among other things. But they keep asking you for money. Tariq Nasheed, in this same video where he his sister revealed the name. He tells the guy, I don't want to see project ceiling. Two other guys from Baltimore deliver, making deliveries early in the morning. Oh, you look like you're cat burglars. Any other time he puts down those jobs. But Negroes seem to love it. But again, it's the same reason why they do it. Because it's the same thing with preachers and drug dealers in the day. That's why every time you see a movie, TV show from back in the day, you see the same scenario. People love the preacher's car. People love the preacher, the drug dealer's car. It doesn't stop. And they seem to want to give them more money for some strange reason. If you have a perce perception of being well off, they want to give you money. If you have a perception of not being well off, people for some odd reason think that you're trying to swindle them out of their money. <laughs> when it's the person who has the money or claims to have the money, they're the ones swindling you. Common sense, if you got it, should tell you if these people are rich, as they claim, what do they need my money for? That, that's what common sense should tell you. Tariq Nasheed, see, he, his sister busted him out. He busted himself out. Why would you need to have your sister put a GoFundMe uh, app up for a uh, link up for the Maroon movie after you collected all that goddamn money for the uh, museum? And notice when he talks about the museum, people have to force it out of him or else he's not mentioning mentioning the shit at all and when he mentions the shit it's a one liner yeah we're still working on it now don't bug me about that shit anymore but when he talks about that maroon go fund me he'll keep going on and on and on if each one of you puts ten thousand ten dollars on it we're there why did you, how could you show a trailer? And a trailer usually means that the movie's done. He didn't call it a teaser trailer. You know the bullshit movie's done because it doesn't take long to make his bullshit productions. Then he says he needs 80,000 for the editing. Have you seen his fucking movies? I just saw that buck breaking. I can't locate the 1804. I'm still, I still want to see it just to see what, what it, how, how it's put together. That editing is lousy editing from the 2000s, the early 2000s. Cheap. A person, you could tell somebody who did that shit wasn't paid to do it. He did it himself. I used to do shit like that on public, matter of fact, I used to do better than that on public access. Shit, actually coming on YouTube after my first channel was taken down because I used to, I told you, I used to do Hollywood style productions. Then after channels and videos got taken down, then I, that's when I just started making it plain. <laughs> Shit. So I kind of lost a little bit of the skill. Still got a lot of it, but lost a decent amount of it. But um, I got to get it back. But this is what's going on. 
I swear, this guy, I don't think this guy even made that money off of that museum. I think he did what I said. He said, if I don't meet the goal, I got to give the money back. So he put in some fake uh, donations to send it over the top with the million dollars. Then he kept the money because there's no reason why he should not have a building. See, because then you start running into the... Remember, he had he wanted different phases to reach $7 million. Don't forget about that part. So that means he's going to hit you up again. So he's hitting you up for... He hit you up for that. Now he hit you up for the maroon shit. What do you need money for that for? And then he's going to come back and hit you up again for part two of the installment on the museum part one he's supposed to get the money and secure the plot which he hasn't done so you shouldn't give him any more money but if you do you're a dummy but if you notice Tariq Nasheed and I told you he was going to use that baby to number one buy time and to buy sympathy that's why he keeps talking about that baby all the time baby drop baby drop come on drop drop baby if you follow Tariq Nasheed from almost the beginning or the beginning, he's always consistently hitting you up for money all the time. And when he's not hitting you up for a donation, he's trying to sell you some cheap ass Chinese made items that cost pennies. He only uses you to make money. And to disseminate his white master's uh, information, propaganda to you. That's all it's about. So, with that being said, I don't want to make this too long, but we got him. He did it. Marcus Sanders. Now it's confirmed. Uh, there ain't no doubt about it now. So, now I can officially start calling the man Marcus Sanders. Before it was a little bit of joke of, of a joke and he used to get concerned. You knew somebody had to know him from elementary school, high school at some point in time. He didn't he said he didn't graduate high school, but I'm sure he had to go have gone at some point in time. Somebody had to know his ass. But apparently he looked a little different, but those eyes. See that's the thing. You can get there are people who can get plastic surgery on the eyes. But eyes, neck, anywhere where the skin is thin, the eyes, the neck, the ears, not necessarily whether or not the ears are going in and out, forward or backward, those, those, that's minor surgery. But see, all that stuff, that's thin skin, eyes, ears, the neck, that's where the thin skin is. That's why you see celebrities, they'll get plastic surgery on, or uh, what's that shit they used to get, Botox on everything, but it's hard to do it on the neck because the neck is so fucking thin, thin skin. If they could do it, and, you know, because one mistake, shit, you might fucking die. <laughs> you, you fucking with the skin on the neck. That's why when white people, you look at their age, when they age so badly, the skin on the neck, that takes them out, neck and the eyes. So it's hard to get the surgery in these places. That's why they don't, and especially the actual ears themselves. And usually I think those micro surgeries for the ears, if you can do that, it'll cost you a whole lot more money anyway. But the eyes, if you look at that Marcus Sanders that got convicted of murder and drug dealing, he said he was thugging cold-blooded killer that's not just his identity it means a goddamn murderer and a drug dealer and, and that goes to show he's still a hater of black people like we've been telling people because he killed a black man and was selling drugs to black people that's why when I did the be Tariq Nashi behind the con that's why his history could only go back but so far 
We couldn't have we we didn't and people like I said, people have been supplying me with info, but nobody could supply me with stuff from Alabama or Michigan. And believe me, they've been looking. <laughs> they've been looking. And they've been paying to look. But it's hard to find. But now that Marcus Sanders is confirmed. Now yeah, what's up? I'm going to start doing a little more digging, but I'm sure his uh, white masters got shit hidden. Because they got their coon agents, their agents, they always got to hide their identities. Just like Lee Harvey Oswald. Hidden identity. But with that, now we got them. 